Hey, how's it? I'm your host, David Lim of Discover Digest Korea. I've been a frequent traveler to South Korea since 2005. It all started with my first group tour. I traveled with a bunch of Korean drama and K-pop enthusiasts. Although I was born and raised in Korea until I was 7 years old, it was the first time I saw different parts of Korea. We ate a variety of Korean cuisines, watched concerts, checked out drama sites, visited interesting events, and met really cool people along the way. I had an amazing time, and it was the most fun I've ever had, and thought there's no way to top the experience, until I visited Korea the following year, and the year after that, and it's been like that ever since. I'm in love with Korea. It's dynamic. There's lots to do and see in this super dense country. It's been known mostly for TV dramas and K-pop music, but our show will have myself and two lovely co-hosts that will take you on this exciting journey to seek and find the cool and fun Korea. So here we go, right here on Discover Digest. just arrived at Incheon International Airport. It's a very beautiful airport here in South Korea. A lot of people who do come to Korea, this will be the first place you'll see. Because this is a fairly new airport, built early in the year 2000, it's quite lovely. There's actual tours that are done to have people go around and to show the Incheon International Airport. I just want to hang out. I just want to hang out at this airport. So right here at the airport, we have currency exchange. I need to get some Korean won so I can go shopping. And actually, I'm a little hungry too, so. So I got some Korean won. Let's go spend it. I'm noticing a lot of fun things around me. Korean couples that were arriving and leaving from this airport are wearing the same clothing. I really want to find out what the purpose is, other than the fact that they want a matching t-shirt. I guess it's sort of like a fashion statement that couples make here. But um, the question is, you know what is that? I'm就是 그런 것도 없잖아. 있는 것 같아요. 제가 봤을 때는 좋아하는 거니까 같이 공유하고 싶은 가장 큰 거예요. 그게 같은 생각인 것 같아요. 같은 생각이세요. 네. 와 너무 좋습니다. 같은 생각 같은 옷에 두 분께서 같이 하와이 가는 거죠. 너무 좋아. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. So the flight is long, but it's fun, and uh, it was very exciting because I know that every minute. I knew that I was inching closer to Korea, and that excitement was all I needed in that flight. I've been sitting around at this airport long enough. It's time to get to the capital city of Korea, Seoul. It's cold. The spirit in Korea. So, yeah, the spirit. So, the people, the lifestyle. Korea is a busy place. Never sleeps. Seems like they're in a hurry to get to places, I think. Competitive society. Everyone wants to be number one. Even like between the old people and the young people, is uh, basically the same thing. Fast paced and also just, um, it's just extraordinary, uh, just the progress that we've seen. You know, like the, an old temple, an old castle, and then next to it is a, a brand new building. Uh, it blends, uh, like, has a really old culture, but it also has, it's also really modern too. Technology and design, and it also has a great history and heritage of uh, 
culture. Kimchi. Kimchi. Lots of kimchi. Dosa bibimbap. Samgyeopsal. Bibimbap. Oh, samgyeopsal. Maybe soju. My Korean husband. Sai. K-pop. Plastic surgery. Gangnam style. Music. Television programs. Movies. Yeah. Entertainment show. I know it when I see it, and I identify it with it being uniquely Korean. You see Korean flags everywhere, and just the nationalism. People are very proud to be Korean. This is where people went out of their way to help us. At first, they might be a little bit shy, but once they get to know you, they become more open-minded. What you don't like about Korea? One thing I don't like about Korea, um, it's a little crowded. The traffic lights being uh, suggestions instead of rules. Statistically, Korea tops any country in the world when it comes to traffic accidents by population percentage. As the cab driver was saying, and most Koreans relate to his sentiments, that Korea should be unified. It's the only country in the world that's divided, and I truly wish that one day I'll live to see two Koreas become one. But for now, I'm calling it a day. Good night, Seoul. It's great to be back. All right, so we're at the uh, a subway. Okay. Alright, you gotta let me talk, you gotta let me talk. Alright, so we're right here in a subway station in Seoul, and we're at a vending machine that allows access to the subway use. Let's see, it's for me and for my camera guys, so let's get... Uh, let's see... Wait a minute, what is this? Gangnam Gucheol. Yeah. 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 Let's do it again. Take the money. Take the money. Take the money. All right, here we go. Two cards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up and change. Right. Let's see if you don't pay through this card and see what happens. Uh oh, so you don't get this. So you have to make back, use the card, and boom, it's ready to go. See ya. There's uh, a convenience store and some snack thing. There's actually a clothing store here. We're at a convenience store in Korea and we're checking out what are the beverages here because we're getting a little thirsty. But I need a little pick-me-up. This is Pakasu. Tastes just like Red Bull. It came out long before it. And uh, I'm gonna get me one of these because I need some energy. Whoa, these are some cool stuff too. Look at this, this is a banana milk. I don't think we have this in America, so I'm gonna get me one of these and uh, I hope uh, this is not really what it is, but um, it says in Korean, cool piss. Okay, I'm not gonna get that. All right, but anyway, my pakasu and some banana uyu. I'm on my way. Here I go, taking the subway to various destination around Seoul. It's very modern and clean. Foreigners rank subway as the most convenient way to travel in the city. Using smartphone is a popular thing to do on subways. Korea is the number one country when it comes to smartphone users. With Wi-Fi fully supported, subway rides are a great time to stay connected, browse the web, watching whatever you choose, and catch up on Korean dramas. And makeup on the go is a common thing when commuting on the subway. No one really cares if you stare at yourself, because everybody is staring at their phones. Let's 
let's check out what they're selling. So you know, you guys been hearing about that, um, the Ionic bands or whatever. And that's for, I think that's for the back. So this guy's selling it right now. They sell anything and everything in a subway. Anything. Korean subway is very cheap. The longest subway ride in Seoul is 103 miles going through 75 stations. And the cost is about $3.50. So here's one area that we'll be going around, Apujong. Here are two of my friends, Songa and Kate, checking out Gangnam Tourist Information Center in Apujong. Last year, Gangnam style became a worldwide overnight sensation. And Seoul responded to a drastically increased number of tourists by building an all-in-one tourist information center. The Gangnam Tourist Information Center has three sections which offers information about tourist attractions in Gangnam, the Hallyu Hall which is full of Hallyu or Korean wave related content for visitors, and the Medical Tourism Center which gives visitors more information on Korea's high-tech medical tourism industry. The best part is, you may use this place for free. What is this place? Wow, it's really cool. Uh, I will introduce uh, on second floor. Here is the... Uh, um, <laughs> what he meant to say was that this was a Korean entertainment media center, music videos, dramas, and movies in their library to watch on their main screen. Here is also the actual set of a Korean drama that's on display. Make yourself comfortable. A gift shop is available for traditional and modern merchandises. This place comes with a multi-stage set for visitors to dress up like a K-pop star and get into the groove. Perhaps this is what Korea is best known for. Dramas and K-pop has gotten bigger and more popular over the years. It's definitely interesting to keep an eye out on this phenomenon. Here I am in Cheongdam. I'm about to get my hair cut at L Looks. It's quite different getting a haircut in Korea. I've been told that this is the place to get the best in salon experience. It's also a place where a bunch of Korean celebs get their haircut and makeup done too. So I wanted I wanted them to uh, give me the whole K-pop look. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Three years ago. Three The hair designers, they call it, or the stylist, will take care of the person who's getting their hair cut, but there's always an assistant standing by to make sure that there's no hair falling in front of your face, making sure that everything is needed by the designer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This cool gadget behind me, what is that? So this machine is blowing steam into my hair and uh, is rotating behind me. I've never had brush shampoo in my hair before. This has got to be a first. Looks like I have frostings in my hair. Frostings? 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 The benefit of it all, other than the fact that it is um, resisting your hair to fall out, I think it's part of this mas uh, it's the massage that's <laughs> adding the... <laughs> I think you come here to... Uh, thanks. <laughs> it's a lot of effort putting, being put into my hair. I mean, this is... And uh, when she was massaging my scalp, oh my gosh. So whatever treatment I got, was the ultimate makeover. I've been told that this was very much needed. And so how much did it all cost? $150 for my full makeover. And I believe it was the best haircut ever. So now that I got my haircut done, they're asking me to see if I could get a makeup done. I'm not sure if they're gonna apply this on me, but hopefully, very hopefully, it will be a manly look because I would not want to be looking like a female. This is our uh, makeup artist, uh, Wanjangnim of L Lux. Okay, all right, yeah. fantastic. Skin tone is a bit dark. Yeah, I, I have very dark skin. Hawaii, mm -hmm. so. Hawaii, yeah, yeah. Well, some blogger, some blogger, I don't use. 
네. 써야 되는 건가요? 그렇죠. 네. Everyday. 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 전 진짜 메이크업이 필요한 사람 같아요. 네, 그렇죠? 네, 네, 진짜, 네, 네. 네, 진짜요? 네. 오 마이 갓. 네. 여성들이만 바르는 줄 알았는데 남자들도 바른 건가요? 네. 그래요? 저희 샵 같은 경우는 30, 40% 정도 되는 것 같아요. 30, 40%. Did you hear that? A lot of men in Korea, they put on a lot of makeup. Alright, so I'm gonna blend in with all these Korean guys here. Alright, so let's start this. 수분 모이스처라이즈가 좀 들어가고 나서는 그냥 yes. 이제 선블럭을 바르면 돼요. 피부가 솔직히 솔직히 일단은 <웃음> 뭐그 하와이에서 살아서 뭐 이제 피부 톤이 좀 어둡긴 하지만은 음, 전체적으로 음. 피부가 지금 되게 많이 붉으면서 네. 이게 건조 드라이. 퍼프트한 건 아니고 육육 육. 이제 스팟이 이쁜 스팟이 점이 있고 미운 음. 점이 있잖아요. 한 머리가 너무 두꺼우면 상식적으로 이렇게 터져 보이고. 입술의 색이 조금 약간 다른 분에 비해서 좀 어두운데 들어가는 부분으로 약간 발라주는 거야. 믹스해서. Yeah. Hmm. I have dark lips. As the makeup artist told me, I'm rated a six for my skin with dark lips. So this device is a skin age scanner at the Gangnam Tourist Information Center. It diagnoses your skin condition and how it can improve it. I have to do a skin test. Oh, 안녕하세요. Hello. <laughs> 네. So who's going to go first? You? Sorry, sorry. Skin age. So your real age is 23, right? So we'll check out your skin age. Here are the results. Oh, your face! Oh my god! So what's what's a skin age? Children. Children? Yes. Yeah. Children, really? Are you sure? Mm, and Chinese and English and in Japanese. Mm, wow, cool. So your turn now. Um, um, oh my god. Oh, oh. oh okay. Anyway, anyway, okay. I'll just do like this. Oh, this is like taking an exam. It, oh yeah, I'm scared. It's yes. way better than mine. Oh. Who's oh. better? <laughs> I got uh, skin tone and the brow sculpt is very good. Yeah. Okay. Who? Who? She, her? <laughs> is she the winner or I'm the winner? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who can say. You could me on. No. Korea is very conscious of complexion. Pick, pick one, you have to. And perhaps I'm not the ideal person to talk about skincare, but I would like to know how I can improve. So here are my two friends again, going through a whole procedure in learning about skincare and wrinkle prevention. Yeah, you look like her. To get a better understanding of skincare, we asked one of Korea's leading experts in the field, Dr. Kim Gwang So. Dr. Kim is the founder and CEO of Charm Zone Cosmetics. And he spent some time with my friends on how we can all improve our skin. I was originally a doctor. I wanted to do a doctor. So I used a technical technique. I used a basic product. The basic is to make the skin look good. The basic is to make the skin look good. If you do it well, the skin is not good. The skin is not good. The skin is more beautiful. 더 좋아진다는 거죠. 만들어진 것은 내가 제일 먼저 씁니다. 내 나이가 지금 75. Wow, 75? He must have used a lot of his charm zone products. That's a question I wanted to ask. 여기에 있는 마운 두 가지의 성분이 이게 몽땅 이 안에 들어 있습니다. 그게 하나 하나를 여기 농축해서 들여 보내는 게 이게 바로 노하우입니다. Charm Zone's Technology Institute is known to be the heart of the company. There is an endless effort made to produce an effective and distinctive product. The institute is comprised of Cosmetic Research Center and their Bioscience Research Center. These research centers will develop new cosmetics for you and I to be younger looking. And for me to improve my six to maybe even something higher. At least I'm not under uh, or below average. Next, I'm on the set of a new Korean drama. I admit, I don't usually watch Korean dramas because it makes my eyes watery. But when I do, it's all happening behind the scenes. So I'm just about to go in to the actual filming of a Korean drama. So they're doing one of the scenes. This is the first episode for Chan Sang Yeo Or Woman in Heaven is a new weekday drama aired by KBS. Starring Yoon Soo-yi, this story is about a woman's revenge. 
us. A lot of things happening. People are walking all over the place, very busy, very exciting. This is what Korean drama is all about. Things are made so quickly. That's why it's busy. They spend all night, maybe even stay up all night, just to shoot a complete episode. An entire episode, nearly 45 to 50 minutes, will be filmed and edited in just a few days. Here we have one of the main actress, dramatic walk down the aisle and dramatic action scene that was one dramatic fall to the floor so here's a dramatic scene so what's gonna happen next? Join us next week and we'll speak to some of the entertainment industry's hopefuls and leaders with segments introduced by my co-hosts Hi, my name is Amanda Cho and my name is Angelica Kim Casting director Kim Yong Park The award-winning Empire. And we empire. Till next week. See you right here on Discover Digest.